5,000 subscribers. Man, it has been a grind. A lot of people think this YouTube thing is just sort of a hobby play thing. No, it's serious, man. It is a job. It is work. But I wouldn't trade it for nothing. Beach Roofing <laughs> beats the chicken shack. It really wanted to be sort of a thank you video to anybody who's ever watched one of my videos or ever thumbs up or thumbs down even. That is feedback. Or commented or subscribed or hit the bell or even bought something from me over on my eBay page or Amazon page or over on my uh, my website, blackwarriorlures.com. While I'm thankful for it, I, you know, I got a decision to make. You know, it's tax time. We're getting, we're doing tax money and things like that. And I'm thinking, golly, I'm just looking back over everything. And it's been great this past five years, but it's the video production side of things that's growing and growing well and healthily. But the fishing tackle side of things is sort of just lagging, lagging behind. It originally started with my dad's floats, and many of you have seen them, and I made them, revised them over the years, and, um, and you know, tried to perfect them. And I wondered if anybody wanted to sell it, so I put them on eBay for sale. People started buying them. People started asking me for uh, how do you rig them, how do you use them, how do you fish them, and I, that's what started the YouTube channel really in earnest. And well, the thing is, while I do have customers and some repeat customers, the reality is the most consistent money is coming from the YouTube ad revenue. It just every single month just keeps coming in over and over and over. Whereas the fishing tackle sales, by definition, one, are seasonal, but two, the sales are sort of occasional. And another difficult thing is just importing things from China to sell while that's a nice business model where China can make it and I can just concentrate on selling it, my fishing methods change so much from year to year that by the time people are asking me about, no, oh, do I sell, still sell the cheese bait that I had online? Well, when I was selling the cheese bait, nobody was buying it. Now that I'm not using it, people are asking me about it. And I, I began to realize there's this lag from, because I'm forward thinking and I'm moving and I'm not just going to do the same thing over and over and over. My own products become very, become obsolete very quickly, you know, because I just find better ways to do something and that's what I do. And the old thing stays on the website and people are just now seeing this stuff. And so it's just frustrating. And another thing is, you know, when you import product from China, I really actually like that business model. It's just that, well, the Chinese manufacturers, are, these guys are smart. They realize, well, wait a minute, they can just list their own products on eBay. They can list their own products on Amazon and sell it themselves directly to you, right? And so in a lot of ways, it's actually cheaper for them to ship it from China to you than it is for me to ship it from my house to you. I know that sounds crazy, but that's it. And now that we this ongoing trade war with China, that makes it harder. Quite frankly, I'm just not enjoying the fishing tackle side of things. I, I've got about three of my handline reels that I gotta get turned and get done and I'm like, Ugh. It's time I need to be on the river getting footage. If you've noticed over the past year, I didn't have not as many fishing videos, which is really what made the channel what it is. And I'm like, I gotta get fishing, gotta get fishing, gotta get fishing. I'd much rather make the fishing videos. I'd much rather get out in the water. So I'm seriously thinking about shutting down the fishing tackle portion of what I'm doing and then finding more ways to monetize the videos themselves via working with other companies, doing more product reviews, testing those products out on the river so I get more fishing reviews. And then you can just put a link to their Amazon page on a commission like that, or teach online classes like how to get 5,000 subscribers to your outdoors YouTube channel. I mean, you can just charge for that. But the point is, definitely decision time, and I definitely want to celebrate this 5,000 subscribers. So you don't get that first 5,000 subscribers, it's not easy, you know? For some people, they'll blow past it. For me, it's just been a grind, because I've had to learn all this video production stuff. And the, the comment that people keep making is, oh, I love their video production. Oh, I love the quality of production. It's the video production that they're complimenting you on. The, the products that I sell, they just think, I think they almost buy the products because they just like the video production and want some way of <laughs> sort of rewarding that. Right? I just wanted to say a sincere thank you to everyone who's ever watched a video of mine, commented, thumbs up or thumbs down, or, or bought anything from me in any way, or contributed to me on Patreon, or anything. That means a lot. 
because it means that people are engaged in what I'm doing. Thanks. I'm serious. Thanks. <laughs>